And what else do you see in a limb? Apparent lengthening or shortening, visible deformity, and invisible skin changes, ulcers, sinuses, dilated veins, hair, absence of them, etc. Pigmentation, absence of it, etc. And then gait, you make the patient walk. And as the patient is walking, you're just looking at the limb. Right? So you would know with with the deformity or apparent lengthening, shortening, the gait would be affected. And then you come down to looking specifically for systems like motor system now. Look at what? Tone of the muscle, power of the muscle, bulk of the muscle. They can be muscle atrophy. So in chronic limb ischemia, there is muscle atrophy. So you'll measure it. And how do you measure it? You refer, take a reference point as a bony reference point anywhere and count some distance. Use the same in the other limb and you compare it. And always, always, always examine the normal.